Hello, and welcome back to Undertale. This time we're in a kind of ominous situation. Let's see what Papyrus has to say about it. Wowie, I had an awkward time in this room earlier. Good heavens, you weren't around to see it. Yeah, I kind of was. Anyway, when four bridge seeds align in the water, they will sprout. Oh no, is it time for puzzles? That's a pretty adorable puzzle noise. This is a good sign so far. This will probably get worse. That's not a mouse hole, it's just a decorative crack. Oh, hey, Aaron, I guess. <laughs> I believe you were in the trailer somewhere. Let's check those pegs. Ha ha. That's nice of you to tell me how to easily dodge his attacks, I guess. Ha ha. Sea puns. What if I flex at him? <laughs> how many flexes does it take to get to the center of... Whatever is going on here. Oop. I accidentally ran into the BP arm. Oh, well. Okay. <laughs> See you later, Aaron. Can I just release these anywhere? It's very important to read that sign, I'm sure. We cannot release them from the bridge, though. Congratulations! You failed the puzzle! <laughs> no... I solved... the... optional part... of the puzzle. Thank you. I guess it's not... wait, is that only three wide? It is. error is made, the Bell Blossom can call Bridge Seeds back to where they started. Oh, that's convenient. So that's only three wide. Should be fine to do it like this, I think. I wonder if the locals have to deal with this kind of thing all the time. There we go. Ring. Hello! This is Papyrus! How did I get this number? It was easy! I just dialed every number sequentially until I got yours! Yeah! <laughs> so, what are you wearing? I'm asking for a friend. She thought she saw you wearing a dusty tutu. Is that true? Are you wearing a dusty tutu? It's true, I am. So you are wearing a dusty tutu. Got it! Wink wink! Have a nice day! <laughs> Great. Hmm, this puzzle! I've got it! Try to build a bridge with the bridge seeds! Yeah, thanks. I figured that out in the last room. Wishing room! Alright, what have people wished to the Echo Flowers? 
A long time ago, monsters would whisper their wishes to the stars in the sky. If you hoped with all your heart, your wish would come true. Now, all we have are these sparkling stones on the ceiling. I guess someone came in here and decided to ex to perform some exposition. Thousands of people wishing together can't be wrong. The king will prove that. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what I'm looking at here. Washua. Aha. This monster is afraid of the germs. Whoa -ho. Oh god, the soap. Green means clean. Oh, we're doing this again. It's true, he is. Well, that was a bit of a painful cleaning, but hopefully my tutu is less dusty now. Come on, sis, make a wish! I wish my sister and I will see the real stars someday. Doll. Let's look through the telescope. Check wall. Check what wall? Oh, okay, that wall. That would make sense. Ah, seems my horoscope is the same as last week's. You shouldn't buy into that horoscope nonsense. Mysterious docks. Ancient writing covers the walls. You can just make out the words. The War of Humans and Monsters. History lesson. Why did the humans attack? Indeed, it seemed that they had nothing to fear. Humans are unbelievably strong. It would take the soul of nearly every monster. Just to equal the power of a single human soul. But humans have one weakness. Ironically, it is the strength of their soul. Its power allows it to persist outside the human body, even after death. If a monster defeats a human, they can take its soul. A monster with a human soul. A horrible beast with unfathomable power. An illustration of a strange creature. Something very unsettling about this drawing. I'm sure that's not going to become relevant any time in the far future. Hey Papyrus, what do you have to say about history? No response. I mean, well, of course there's no response there. Are we already... Well... Oh, I see. Undyne, you're not the best at aiming, honestly. Though I, I can't pause in this part. Crap. Yeah. Your weakness remains tall grass. Why are you reminding me of SAX, like Metroid Fusion? What? Oh, it's... It's that. <laughs> that girl who was following Undyne around. Everything is fine. Nothing is ruined, yet. Can I have a save point? <laughs> yep, 
Yo, did you see that? Undyne just... touched me. I'm never washing my face ever again. Man, are you unlucky. If you were standing just a little bit to the left. Yo, don't worry. I'm sure we'll see her again. Alright, enthusiastic young creature. Knowing the mouse might one day extract the cheese from the mystical crystal. It fills you with determination. One day, mouse. One day. This cheese has been here so long, a magical crystal has grown around it. It's stuck to the table. <laughs> Squeak. Yeah. Yeah. Papyrus, do you have your phone yet? Why are there so many tables lying around here? It's a good question. Oh, hey, Sans. I'm thinking about getting into the telescope business. It's normally 50,000 gold to use this premium telescope, but since I know you, you can use it for free. How's about it? <laughs> Red? Red orb? I like looking at solid red, that's my favorite thing to look at up close. Is there anything here at all? It seems not. Huh? You aren't satisfied? Don't worry, I'll give you a full refund. <laughs> An odd looking telescope. You yeah, don't say. And here's the box. I don't need the box right now. What's a star? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Can you kill it? Are you a star? No, I am not, and you cannot do any of those things to me. Well, okay, you probably could do several of them. I wouldn't like it. Hey, it's you again. The ancient glyphs have been painted over with a list of 21 different flavors! Alright. I relocated my store, but there are still no customers. Fortunately, I thought of a solution! Punch cards! Every time you buy an ice cream, you can take a punch card from the box. If you have three cards, you can trade them for a free ice cream. They're sure to get the customers to come back. Alright. This is, sounds like a great way to fill my inventory. Okay. Aww. Man, it's sad. There's ice cream hidden in the depths of a watery cavern. Well... I'd take advantage of that free ice cream if I could afford the inventory space, but I don't think that I can. You know, I could probably be talking to Papyrus in every single room, but I'm not going to because that's silly. You hear a passing conversation. So, don't you have any wishes to make? Huh. Well, do you? Hmm, just one, but it's kind of stupid. No wish is stupid. They're like questions. Questions without answers. Oh, hey, these things. Cool. <laughs> hmm. A pair of ballet shoes? I'm gradually becoming a ballerina. Do I get a set bonus for this? Why did those shoes make me feel incredibly dangerous? One day I will be a beautiful ballerina princess. And then Papyrus will really love me. Right? That's the plot twist. Hello! This is Papyrus! Remember when I asked you about clothes? 
Well, the friend who wanted to know, her opinion of you is very... murdery. But I bet you knew that already. And because you knew that, I told her what you told me you were wearing. A dusty tutu. Because I knew, of course, after such a suspicious question, you would obviously change your clothes. You're such a smart cookie. This, this way you're safe and I didn't lie. No betrayal anywhere. Being friends with everyone is easy. <laughs> I didn't change my clothes though. I didn't even think of that. Oh, I've already had the flexing contest contest with you, sir. There's only so much flexing I can do. Don't say that. Come on, I promise I won't laugh. Is the wish like world peace or something? Because that's not stupid, that's just ambitious. The power to take their souls. This is the power that the humans feared. Aaron, please. Don't slow me down. What? Oh, hi. Hello. How you doing, Tentacle? Oh my. Hey there! Noticed you were here. I'm Onion San. Onion San, you hear? Or maybe Onion San. Uh, okay. I did think something earlier looked a bit like an onion, but. Papyrus, what's the deal? Onion? Oh, hmm, hmm. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're visiting Waterfall, huh? It's great here, huh? You'll love it, huh? Yeah, me too. It's my big favorite. It is pretty nice around here, really. Even though the water's getting so shallow here. I, I have to sit down all the time, but... H hey, that's okay. It beats moving to the city. And living in a crowded aquarium. Like all my friends did. Oh, poor Onion-san. And the aquarium's full anyway, so even if I wanted to, I... That's okay, though, you hear? Undyne's gonna fix everything, you hear? I'm gonna get out of here and live in the ocean, you hear? Keep dream... Keep wishing things. Hey there, that's the end of this room. I'll see you around. Have a good time. In Waterfall... <laughs> okay, Onion-san. I can talk with you more if you want. You don't seem like that bad of a person. See, you're back. Do you have more to say? Did you hear? You're back! I'll tell you a big secret. I'm starting a band, you hear? It's called the Red Hot Chibi Peppers. But um, Tish. All I've thought of is the name. And I don't play instruments or sing. Well, you think we'll be popular? Yeah, you can do it, Onion. Yeah, me too! I'm rooting for you, Onion. <laughs> you and your Lakitu AI. Do you have more to say? Oh, did you hear? I got nothing else to, to talk about. Aw. Oh. You can keep making that goofy face forever. Oh well. It was nice meeting you, Onion. I'll see you around, like you said. Ah, 
Oh, it's a shy siren, I get it. Tone deaf, she's too ashamed to sing her deadly song. Too singing. The northern room hides a great treasure. Sounds like a trap. Let's go. A haunting song echoes down the corridor. Won't you play along? Only the first eight are fine. Hmm. A piano. sure what you want me to play here. This power has no counter. Indeed, a human cannot take a monster's soul. When a monster dies, its soul disappears, and an incredible power would be needed to take the soul of a living monster. There is only one exception, the soul of a special species of monster called a boss monster. A boss monster's soul is strong enough to persist after death if only for a few moments. A human could absorb this soul, but this has never happened. And now it never will. I... it might have happened... when I... accidentally murdered... something. It's a statue. The structures at its feet seem dry. A mysterious statue! Is that all you have to say? Yeah. Actually, do you have anything to say about the piano? <laughs> huh? Are you serenading me? Oh no! You're making me blush! <laughs> oh, that wacky p Let's write a musical about our adventures! Sounds like a good plan to me. The only idea I would have with that is that maybe I was supposed to listen closer to the Shiren's singing, but I don't remember it. Please take one. Sure, I took an umbrella. Hey, mysterious statue. A music box begins to play. What's that music? Am I on hold? <laughs> That's probably what I'm supposed to play on the piano. I think I, I think I can do this. <laughs> hmm. 
No, that's not right. Ta-da! A legendary artifact. Uh, sure. You're carrying too many dogs. What? When did this happen? <laughs> I deploy the dog. The dog absorbs the artifact. Okay. The artifact is gone. <laughs> yeah, okay. That happened. I meant to investigate the dog, but I accidentally deployed it. Hmm. There's something annoying about this room. I get it. Because it was an annoying dog. Maybe I was supposed to deploy it outside of the room? Maybe not. The music continues and doesn't stop. Well, it's a nice melody. I'm not going to take another, because it just says, please take one. Common courtesy and all. Yo! You can't hold an umbrella either? If you're walking anyway, I guess I'll go with you. Haha. <laughs> Let's go! Well, I can hold an umbrella, it's just that I already took one. It would be rude to take two. Man, Undyne is so cool! She beats the bad guys and never loses. If I was a human, I would wet the bed every night, knowing she was gonna beat me up. Ha! <laughs> well... I'm... I'm sure I'm fine. If you were around here, your bed would probably be wet anyway. So, one time, we had a school project where we had to take care of a flower. The king, we had to call him Mr. Dreamer volunteered to donate his own flowers. He ended up coming to school and teaching the class about responsibility and stuff. That got me thinking. Yo, how cool would it be if Undyne came to school? She could beat up all the teachers. <laughs> you might be a little bit fixated. Uh, maybe she wouldn't beat up the teachers. She's too cool to ever hurt an innocent person. Well... This looks fancy. Hey, Papyrus, this looks fancy. That's the king's castle! Seems you can finally see the end! There's no way we're that close to the end. I mean, honestly. Can't be. Nah. Yo, this ledge is way too steep. Hmm. Yo, you want to see Undyne, right? Climb on my shoulders. Yo, you go on ahead. Don't worry about me. I always find a way to get through. Oh man, I could have like tried to pull you up or something. Phone connection's getting weak, huh? The serene sound of a distant music box fills you with determination. Would that be different had I not activated it? The humans, afraid of our power, declared war on us. They attacked suddenly and without mercy. A bunch of jerks. In the end, it could hardly be called a war. United, the humans were too powerful and us monsters too weak. Not a single soul was taken, and countless monsters were turned to dust. And on that happy note... 
I'm sure there's a boss fight coming up soon. And I don't think I should make this video too long.